previously on Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Wookie caught Jotaro, a Krikatoon, and then he ended up fighting Grand Cross, his rival. Thankfully, no one was lost in the rival battle that he totally wasn't expecting, and he ended up catching a Raiders fan right afterwards, a Zubat. Raiders fan then involved himself in the greatest game show ever created for a Pokemon Nuzlocke created by Wookie, Machop Till You Drop, which he did perfectly fine. And we're just gonna ignore that uh, Wookie put his life on the line for nothing. Now he's finally in the new gym area and he's looking to finally get his first gym badge. And now we join in to the adventure going on now. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another good old Pokemon Nuzlocke. Today, we are hopefully going to actually fight the first gym leader. Um, now, I said last episode that there might be a training arc. There was no training arc. I'll probably do one next episode, just because this episode is going to be all about our boy, our girl, Grazy. So let's go fight him up. A uh, combo of Grazy and Solrock. So let's go beat up this nerd looking up for a fossil. That's what we're going to do today. By the way, you should leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There you go. These uh, Nuzlocke videos are extremely fun to do, so... I appreciate the everyone watching and leaving a like and seeing stuff. It makes it all worth the effort. Sup, Chop. Today we will not be chopping until we drop him. Oh, there's a Pokemon in here, so I could find a Pokemon. I don't have Geodude, so guess what? I guess we have a Geodude now. So first things first, I'm going to try and see if I can capture this Geodude with no, with no, little to no effort. Nice. Now, in the memory of the original Nuzlocke, I will be naming this Geodude after the one of the MVPs of the original uh, silver uh, Nuzlocke run, which is his name is Kit Fisto. Probably aren't gonna use Kit Fisto, but it's fine. If we ever do end up needing him, Kit Fisto will be there to save us, just like he did last time. All right, to the box, Kit Fisto. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot that you just talk to them. You don't face them to actually battle them. Worker Mason. Mason! What do the numbers mean, Mason? Geodude. Grazy's about to be crazy leveled up, by the way. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure all they have is rock types. I think one or two dudes have, um, Machops, but... They're not any danger to me. I don't think so, anyway. Yeah, I'm on to something. You know who I should be training? Oh no! Too bad. I should be training. Oh. I guess not all of them are trainers. God damn it, can something just let me fucking breathe? Alrighty then. I want to talk about movies that have not aged well. The first Ace Ventura movie has aged terribly. Oh my god. Um, it has specific, you know, if you've seen Ace Ventura, you know what it has to deal with. It deals with the, the twist. It is so, <laughs> it's so bad. And the funny thing is, is I bet when they were making that movie, they thought like, hey, it's not gonna be that big a deal. Like, you know. The thing is, is that no one ever thinks it's gonna be that big a deal, though. What? Why did I get crit? Is that you, Ace Ventura? Are you fighting back against me for daring to tell the truth that Ace Ventura 1 has not aged well? Well, let me tell you this. As someone who, again, really loves Ace Ventura, um, Ace Ventura 2 is the one that I think still holds up. There's still problematic things in it, don't don't get me wrong. Uh, anytime you have a white guy in Africa, 
and it's a comedy in the 90s, you're gonna have a lot of, uh, bad jokes that just don't age well. Funny when I was a kid, though. Hmm, not so much anymore. Um, but I love that movie. Uh, Inquincy Ocha, Inquincy Ocha, aka White Devil, White Devil. <laughs> it's very funny. At least I think so. Hello, Onyx. How did you miss that tackle? You're blinded to him. Watch this as he hits it with a rock smash. Oh man. Did he really just smash a rock to fucking flex on me and then walk away because he remembered he had a job to do? What? <laughs> I'm dying. The audacity of this man to just fucking destroy that rock and do nothing. Audacious, I would say. Fuck, is anything gonna let me leave this goddamn fucking cave? Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna fight the gym leader. Let's do it. But first, before we do that, we're gonna beat up a bunch of little boys. Ooh, I found a part of good. Oh, good day. Hello, Geo, dude. Are you ready to get razor leaf in the fucking base? Let's see it. So it actually is, um... It's not too bad, is what I was trying to say. But I couldn't find the words. Absorb. Suck, 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 suck. Alright, let's beat this man's ass. I forgot that he has multiple Pokemon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has two. Hello, Onyx. Prepare to die. Don't tackle me. Now die. Hmm, yes. Hello, Rorik. Sir, just because you know Rock Smash doesn't mean that you're about to win. All it means is that your Pokemon are about to the, the get defeated pretty goddamn hardcore. So get ready for the thunder. For the fury. Of the super effective reason. Yeah, he's, he's just straight up. He ain't gonna live this. Get a body bag. Razor Leaf. Look at Crazy's eyes as he slow as she slowly eviscerates this entire man's team. This man was smashing rocks in front of me, given his one potion that he makes off of his his job being a gym trainer, which all he does is get his ass beat by ten year olds. He's not even allowed to use it. He's like, I got a Steelix in the back. They don't let me use the Steelix though. It's not fair, they said. I used a Steelix against a 10 year old and I made him cry, and then they told me to stop, but he was talking shit. He wasn't impressed by the Rock Smash move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> I don't know who the like, you think you are. Uh, I should probably. This is an actual dinosaur, so I should actually take it serious. If I remember right, this thing's actually super duper tough, too. Um, it could totally. man just got one shot. Get the fuck out of here. Telling me I better worry. What? That can't be my buffed up Pokemon. Bro, you didn't even get to use a move. Did you use a move? This is embarrassing. This never happens to me before. I swear, baby. <laughs> I used to, I'm able to last longer. <laughs> Damn right. Give me my fucking gym badge, nerd. I'm tired of you. The name is fucking Bizcut. Remember the name. Bizcut, so better get your mouth shut. Give me this TM. 
stealth rock just like I stealth rocked your ass right now. <laughs> Ooh, later, bro. Ric Flair, woo. Woo! If I remember right from... Oh, wait. Do I want to do this? I think I want to save it. Let me see here. So this is Route 207, 206. Should mean in this small space there shouldn't be too much here. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna do it then. Oh, it's a Machado! Machado! Till you drop, uh, uh, my chop, till you drop. It's time to bring back. No, because I actually want to. <laughs> I don't want to be here for 27 years. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do it, right? Uh oh. Okay. That wasn't bad. I am probably, now that I think about it, I am going to switch into... <sighs> oh god, I'm going to switch in to Raiders fan. Raiders fan, you can tank this. It's just like Godzilla versus King Kong. The meeting of the superpowers. Bachop and Raiders fan are destined to do this forever. That's right. King Raiders versus Chopzilla. Alright, we got it. Now, this one... Who are we gonna name it after? Let me see. Let me look at the old list. Named after Shade. Shade. There we go. Welcome to the party, Shade. Be in the box for now, in case we need you. I found a Pokeball. And I think that's going to be today's episode. It's a real short one, but that's because I'm also going to be training off screen. I'm going to bring up everyone to level 10 and because none of that's really going to be put in the footage except for in case someone dies um which i don't think anyone will die i mean yeah because if there's any trouble i'll just switch into crazy so should, no one should hopefully die jitaro has the biggest chance of accidentally dying and so does yaoi but by next episode everyone should be around level 12 but for now and i'll show the results of those of that training later as well so for now um, hit save. Say thanks again for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. We beat a gym. This is the start of progress. Bye bye. <laughs>